Yo, yo, how's it going? What's up? This is this is my house. Welcome. I appreciate fashion more so as an art rather than I'm wearing clothes. I mean, like at the end of the day, sure, you're wearing clothes, but I think they can represent so much more. I'd say it's probably my biggest hobby outside of school. I guess like design of buildings, like I know that's more architecture, but I think it's still engineering, you know. You're gonna get the plans from the architect, so that plays right into it. I also think concrete, that plays into two of my favorite design movements, like both Bauhaus and Brutalism are both very concrete heavy. And yeah, I don't know, I kind of love concrete too. I, I like how it looks, I love like mixing it. I don't know, it's something about the smell too. I don't know, I just like it. This hat I got from my parents when they went to the Cayman Islands like years and years ago. It's kind of gross now, but I really like how it's like worn in. This shirt I got at a thrift store in Phoenix, I think. I didn't know what it was. I just liked the graphic and there's a few on the back I really liked. I looked it up afterwards and it's a, it's a for an album. I got my trusty Rick Owens Geth denim on. I wear these like almost every day. <laughs> They're super gross. I mean, I was pouring concrete in them a few days ago. And then these are my Kiko Kostadinov Asics. He's probably my favorite designer right now. His footwear is absolutely insane. And I bought a pair of like his first Asics that came out and I absolutely fell in love with them. So I try and get as many of them as I can. This is just a bracelet for my grandma. And this is a, a ring that was like untreated. It was like really dark, dark gray. And so it was like untreated silver. So as you wear it, it wears in and it turns to like the, the brighter silver. This is a necklace my girlfriend got me from a jewelry brand called Octi. Their biggest inspiration is like topography and like nature. And I thought that was really cool because like I'm a surveying miner and like topography is like a big part of surveying. So I thought it's a cool little like way to rep degree, if you will. The safety goggles courtesy of the materials lab. But yeah, that's that's all I got on for today. I am a senior and I am studying civil engineering uh, with a minor in surveying. And I am part of ASCE and AWL. When I first knew of engineers, I knew they invented stuff or created stuff, so that's what I initially wanted to do. I didn't know I wanted to do civil until junior year of high school when I got a internship in the environmental research labs. And then I did that and I really liked it. I don't do environmental now, but still in the civil branch. I was working in the environmental labs with Dr. Zhang. I was working with one of her grad students. Kind of opened my eyes, I was like, oh, engineering is not just the awful stuff my teacher was showing me in high school. Like, you know, you can actually do lab work and there's, there's a lot more to it than that. I kind of joined ASCE just like, oh, I should probably join an organization and now here I am three years later, still going to competition, and I met like a lot of probably my closest friends through AC. Same thing with AWL. My roommate convinced me to join, and then I went on the international trip last year, and I absolutely loved it. We actually like encouraged all the younger members to like, if you want to get ahead in some of these classes, like Concrete Canoe, you know, it'll help you get ahead. No. I've been with the City of Las Cruces uh, Traffic Engineering Department for, it'll be two years in May. Transport isn't like what I want to go into, but I think like the connections I've made and just, you know, seeing the inner workings of like how real engineers go about day to day. I think that experience has been pretty valuable, even if it's not the discipline I want to go into.